Okay, in this lesson, we're going to continue looking at scale factors and scale diagrams. However, we are going to apply it to three-dimensional objects. Up until this point, we have applied it to two-dimensional shapes and two-dimensional objects. We're going to apply it to three-dimensional objects now. There's absolutely no difference in the major concept. However, there is generally three measurements that we're looking at. Uh, example number five says this. Sandeep is a chef. In his restaurant, he uses frying pans of various sizes. Use the measurements of each frying pan to determine if they are similar. Now, similar shapes have all corresponding parts that are proportional to each other. So if we look here, it says that his large pan has a diameter of 30, small pan has a diameter of 20. Large pan has a depth of 6, small pan has a depth of 4. Large pan has a handle length of 25, and small pan has a handle length of 15. There are multiple ways to find out if these are similar, but what we have to do is see if the corresponding parts are proportional. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you two methods. Uh, one method is just to look at the proportions of the corresponding parts. So I've set up a table here. So the large diameter over the small diameter would be 30, because the large diameter is 30, and the small diameter is 20. And if I was to reduce that fraction to see if it's they are all going to be proportional because it's hard if the numbers are the same 3 over 30 over 20 reduces to 3 over 2 if we look at the depth of each the large pan has a depth of 6 and the small pan has a depth of 4 if i reduce that to see if they're proportional i also have a reduced fraction or proportion of 3 to 2 if we look at the handle the large handle is 25 centimeters, the small handle is 15. If I reduce that fraction, that becomes 5 thirds, because I'm dividing each of them by 5, and that can't be reduced anymore. So in answer to the question, is it similar, the answer is that it's not similar. And the reason is that the handles don't have the same proportional uh, numeracy. A second method that you could have done this is just to find out uh, what the scale factor is to go from, say, the small pan to the large pan. So if I looked at the diameter here, if I just did 30 divided by 20, that would give me a scale factor of 1.5. So the question is, if I take all of these, so you see here, if I do, for example, small pan times 1.5, I get 30. So if I times by 1.5, it works. Now, if I take the depth, if I times that by 1.5, will I get 6? So is, in other words, is 4 times 1.5 equivalent to 6? Yes. And the last thing, if I times the handle length by 1.5, so it's 15 times 1.5 equivalent to 25. And that answer is no. Okay. So any way that you do this, you find out that the handle is not proportional to the other parts of the pans. Now the last problem says Esmeralda bought this toy tractor. So the toy tractor's height is 12.7 centimeters, the width is 9.5 centimeters, and the length is 19.1 centimeters uh, to give to her younger brother for his birthday. The dimensions of the toy are given in the diagram to the right. The scale ratio on the package is 1 to 16. So it's saying that the... Uh, model, the diagram, or in this case the model, is 1 for every 16 of actual. So it's 1 16th the size, in other words, of the actual tractor. She knows that her brother will want to know the size of the real tractor. What are the dimensions of the real tractor? Now if this is 1 16th the size of the real tractor, how would you calculate the size of the real tractor? Well, if the real tractor is, the real tractor would have to be 16 times larger. So pretty uh, straightforward calculation if you understand scale factors. Just make sure that you realize that the units stay the same. You're just going to take all of these dimensions and realize that the actual tractor is 16 times larger. So if I multiply all of these by 16, I will get the answer. So the height <clears throat> in this case would be 203.2 centimeters. You could check that with your own calculator if you'd like to. Uh, the width of the real tractor would be 152 centimeters. And the length of the real tractor would be 305.6 centimeters. So in conclusion, to have to do with scale diagrams and scale factors or three-dimensional objects, just one key idea 
is that two objects are similar if the dimensions of all the corresponding parts are proportional. So all the corresponding parts, like the frying pan, the depth, the diameter, and the handle all have to be proportional to each other if they are going to be called similar.